Hello and welcome to my video. Today we are going to solve this problem related to the inverse of the matrix. So the problem is, suppose that this 2x2 two two matrix A does not have an inverse. With that condition, prove that if A to the power of 2022 equals 0, then A square also equals 0. Here this 0 is actually a zero matrix where every entry of the matrix is zero. So there are two major points here. First, we must somehow use the fact that the matrix A does not have an inverse. Second, since we have the matrix to the power of a large number here, we have to find a pattern to obtain a general expression for the matrices like A square, A cube, and etc. Right. First, Let's start from the fact that the matrix A does not have an inverse. Then the determinant of A, which is AD minus BC, must be equal to zero. So we have the relation AD equals BC. The next thing you can do is to try to calculate A square, which is this. And if we carry out the multiplication, we have A square plus BC here. AB plus BD here, AC plus CD here, and finally BC plus D square here. Now let's use this equality and we replace this BC as AD, and here we replace this BC as AD as well. Then we have A plus D times A here, A plus D times B here, A plus D times C here and a plus d times d here. So we can extract this a plus d outside of the matrix and write a, b, c, d, which is a plus d times matrix a. Therefore, a square is expressed as the constant multiple or scalar multiple of matrix a. We can obtain the same result using the Cayley-Hamilton theorem. The Cayley-Hamilton theorem for two-dimensional matrix is a square minus a plus d times a plus a d minus b c times i equals zero matrix, where this i is the identity matrix. If a does not have an inverse, this a d minus b c becomes zero, and therefore we have a square equals a plus d times matrix A, hence the same result. Now, since A square is constant multiple of A, we can calculate A to the higher powers very easily as follows. So A cube is A square times A, and this A square is A plus d times A. So we have A plus d times A square, and if we use A square equals A plus d A again, we have A plus d square matrix A. Let's do this one more time for the a to the power of 4, which is a cube times a. Here this a cube can be expressed like this. So we have a plus d square a times a square a square. And again, by this, we have a plus d cube a. And we can already see the pattern here. So generally, a to the power of n can be expressed as a plus d to the power of n minus 1 times matrix A, where n is a natural number equal to or greater than 2. So by this general expression, a to the power of 2022 is a plus d to the power of 2021 times matrix A. And remember that we want to prove that if a to the power of 2022 equals 0 matrix, then a square equals a zero matrix. So if a to the power of 2022 equals a zero matrix, it means that a plus d to the power of 2021 times matrix A equals zero matrix. So either a plus d to the power of 2021 is a zero or matrix A is a zero matrix, which means that either a plus d equals a zero or matrix A equals a zero. But remember that a square is given as a plus d times matrix A. Therefore, either way, we have matrix A square equals zero matrix. Hence, the proof is complete. And that was all for today's video. If you like this video, please give it a like and also consider subscribing to my channel. And I will see you in another video.